Good morning. How are you, family? Uh, I have a good message for you this morning. Yeah, my cat. What's the matter? He wants to talk to. <laughs> um, it's a very encouraging message. Uh, I came across a wonderful man um, on the internet. His name is Ron Wyatt. Ron Wyatt and his family are um, um, archaeologists and um, you can check him out on the YouTube. This man, he uh, discovered first the Noah's Ark. I believe um, it was sometime in the 70s and he discovered many uh, real stories of the Bible and um, another one uh, that he did the amazing discovery was the um, when Moses parted the sea and the people went through it and then there was um, you know the pharaohs came after them with the, with the, the whole army and then the, the sea uh, went over them. So that's what he discovered, the chariots. And um, they're in a place where most people wouldn't think, um, I forget the exact spot. Um, and uh, I, I'm mentioning this because a lot of people think the Bible is a fable, it's a myth, or it's symbolic. Um, well, actually, God tells us that He gave us the power, yes, the power, the authority, the dominion over animals, over any beast on the earth, and over anything that moves so wind moves water moves so when you have faith and you walk with God like Moses did and you you're in danger like Moses was with his people then you speak to the ocean to open it was actually a big lake you speak to that water to part the waters and as humans, we are able to do that with the help of God. Um, and uh, not only did he part the waters for Moses, but he also did the same for Joshua. And I encourage you to go read the book of Joshua. In the first five chapters, um, um, at first uh, you see that Joshua took over after Moses. And uh, then Joshua said to God, you know, how are we going to do this? There's the Jordan River. I know you want us to go and conquer Jericho, but, but, but what about the Jordan River? And in a dream, as most often, because my understanding is that God doesn't speak to us directly like a voice. If you ever hear voices of that kind, it's from the enemy, it's from the devil, it's from Satan, it's like bad spirits. But when God speaks to us, he does it in ways like as we're in prayer and as we read a word of God, which is the Bible, often your problem and what you're looking for, your your whatever you're dealing with in life is going to be described in the Bible. And other times, you could do a fasting and through a dream, you'll get a clear message of what to do. And that's what Joshua got. Uh, um, in those days, um, um, fasting was not, like their sacrifice was they would sacrifice uh, an animal 
but today the sacrifice we can make is the fasting fasting is a sacrifice and it's I've done it a few times and it's a wonderful experience is it's as if you um, get away from your natural self and really um, get in touch with your spiritual or your your spirit being and it's easier to connect with um, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, um, and Jesus Christ, um, His Son. And uh, so, yeah, Joshua actually got the message that the Jordan River was going to part. And God said, when it does part, take 12 stones rocks from the bottom of the Jordan River and he did so in memory of this crossing and he did and uh, that passage is in Joshua um, I, maybe three or four Joshua um, um, I guess I'm encouraging you to understand that the stories in the Bible, although they seem incredible, they're real. And the power of God is real. And, um, and now, slowly, he's revealing to us, through archaeologists like Ron Wyatt, the proof. And so, um, there's proof now that the chariots of Pharaoh are underneath a water where they crossed. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and furthermore, he, um, I guess that's the one I wanted to talk to you about this morning, is that eventually God led him in Jerusalem to the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, he, he, he just sort of knew, it came out of his mouth he didn't understand how but he pointed at a wall and there God said the Ark of the Covenant and it took him a few years he went he he had the money uh, the permission to go dig and dig and um, he found it and uh, it's protected by angels and no one can go to it and because I guess he dedicated his life, Ron Wyatt, and his sons, but he, he's the only one that went and saw the Ark. He not only uh, saw the Ark, he was very startled, of course, you know, it's very scary to actually see an angel. And, uh, and, I, and I think that's why God doesn't really reveal himself to us, because if we w he would, we would be scared to death. We could even maybe die from like a heart attack. <laughs> Anyways, Ron Wyatt, even though he had so much faith, when he saw the angels, there was a few people guarding the ark. Um, he, um, he, 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 he took a hold of his, uh, <laughs> You know, he, after he calmed down a little bit, he was able to speak to them. And uh, the Ten Commandments, the, um, the stones, were in the ark. And he was able to take them out, to photograph them. Also, what he noticed is on top of the ark was some blood. And he took that and he took it to have it analyzed. Um, it turns out that it was the blood of Jesus, the real blood of Jesus. It turns out that Jesus was crucified right on top of the ark. And when he bled, after a soldier speared him, he bled and, and, and there was, um, the earth shook. You know, there was a, an earthquake and the blood went and it fell on the ark. And that was the new covenant. The new covenant meaning that 
Jesus' blood, his sacrifice, the sacrifice of the only Son of God, now um, is able to um, um, forgive us of all our sins. That's the beautiful thing. Um, uh, yes, we need to be more obedient. We need to be um, try as best as we can to follow the commandments. But when we ask forgiveness, truly, we ask forgiveness to God and we ask Jesus to come into our hearts. It's all washed away. Isn't that great? And uh, to finish, when Ron Wyatt went to analyze that blood, it was very special. The uh, scientists were um, baffled because we all have in our blood the DNA of our mother and our father and in this case Jesus blood he only had of his mother and he had one little particle from God this blood is unique like this proves scientifically beyond any doubt that it was Jesus blood and um, this was in Israel and the scientists were Jewish and they asked where did you get that blood and he said it's the blood of the Messiah which is means the anointed one the Messiah the the chosen one and um, so this is a word of encouragement that uh, you are loved you are loved God loves you Jesus loves you, and if you speak to him today, he might do, he will do miracles like he did with me. I was uh, very sick. Um, I even had body pains. I had mental illness. I was very, in a very, very bad place. And when I came to Jesus, slowly and surely, through reading the Bible uh, step by step he has now made me uh, he brought me back to perfect health and the people that know me they see it they they see it so um, this is for um, this video is to give glory to God to give glory to our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, to tell you how much he loves you and um, and I hope uh, you have a wonderful day and that you know that you are loved. Mm -hmm. Shalom! <laughs> Bye.